Guys, we have a guest today. Hello. So, Chris is working for Endgames. When did you join Endgames? Um, I'm the newbie de developer for Endgames. Yeah. I joined about a less than a month ago, and I never, I didn't have any previous experience in gaming industry either. What part of AN do you work for? So, I work for the global service. Um, I'm a global service project manager. I would say. Um, I'm liaison between the users and mm -hmm. the developers. So we got a good question. Yeah, how many people work at AN? So uh, according to um, what I figure was, I'm 21st within the company. So there are only 21 people working for it. I think they have grown quite a lot since last year. Last year I think we were only maybe 10, 15. Yeah. Um, what other games does AN have right now? What have they de developed in the past? Um. So. Past, they actually developed like a lot of different games. About, I, I'm pretty sure there were like 17 games that de they developed. But one thing is, for now, they only service two games, which is mm -hmm. Astro Ness and Astro Muzume. Okay. The one that you guys saw for the um, April Fool's April Day. Fool. Chris is actually from Korea, but he, he lived in the States for how long? Uh, I lived in the States for eight to nine years. What is it like working in the game industry so far? Oh. Um, to be honest, in the beginning, <laughs> I thought it would be really fun to work for a game industry. But since I'm still learning and I'm making so many mistakes already, to the yeah. point, uh, you guys probably realize <laughs> already uh, within the game and within the community and stuff like that. But because I'm making a lot of uh, mistakes and I'm still learning, pro like within the learning process is very difficult and very stressful. Like, I got into many different troubles within different areas already. Yeah. Like, it's, a, it's okay, man. Sense. Yeah, um, LBDND says, I want to ask a question, but not sure I can't. LBDND was just going to ask um, if perhaps the advanced skill issue a while ago was a learning mistake? <laughs> what was the advanced skill what, issue? What's, what's this with the yeah, it's big the, account? With the, it's the, yeah, the account. Ah. Uh, uh, that I had. Oh yeah, okay, so actually we didn't want to mention that, but yeah, that was actually uh, Chris. you were the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so yeah, if you guys, basically there was uh, like an account that accidentally got out like into the, the wild, wild, and it had virtually like every skill in the game, and uh, yes, that was Chris. Uh, yeah, it was a learning curve. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I had to learn the game within, a, within like a few weeks, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's why I didn't want to ask. But yeah, <laughs> but you, you yeah, live and you learn. Yeah, you well, live and yeah. Learn. I made a mistake, I admit, and I'm glad that users <laughs> actually like, <laughs> like understand it now. Yeah. What is it like just your everyday working at AM Games? Um, it is more, I actually read a lot of comments that you guys make on Facebook. Mm -hmm. That's uh, one of the biggest jobs that I probably have right now. Mm -hmm. But also at the same time, I... We have a Russian publisher that I'm, that we're working for, uh -huh. and uh, yeah, so I there are like so many things that I'm supposed to research for the game and mm. um, um, comment on the data that we get from various sources, yeah. and we try to um, discuss and try to make sure that users get a better experience within the game. Yeah. Okay. So really quickly, let's uh, before we go on with more questions, let's look at Wei Dong's account. And by the way, Ashram, you are actually like the first person um, on Sirius that we've ever opened up um, opened up S Heroes for. Really? Yeah. yeah. Devs were a little bit worried that that you would become a little bit overpowered now. Yeah, we're we're like... actually about to break Sirius. He has a, he has Clara, which is of oh, yeah. course super good. Then he has mm -hmm. two rapid fire heroes. Rapid, oh, he, rapid fire is not maybe the best skill, but Combat masters with good stat distribution. He has a very good defense shield hero here with yeah, yeah. very good stats. Nice. Level seven. And then he has this dude here, James. Th this guy's not here. very good. Governance a little bit high. Yeah. Abilities not double ability. So hopefully we will be able to replace at least one of these heroes. And yeah. Definitely try to focus on ability trunks and. He's also not even wearing trance on some of these heroes, so you should yeah. try to get your trance up. Okay, he's focusing only on cannons. I should, since at level 50 most enemies will use destroyers, so I would try to not only use cannons because you're gonna have troubles hitting people and also 
you're gonna face a lot of destroyers, so you yeah. should try to get some missiles on some of these heroes. Oh, it was planet yeah, Sith Lane? I, I kinda, yeah, yes. Oh, come on, what is this? Two planets and only Level one. Level 50? Really? Dude, you gotta, you're wasting so much AP if you've and only also, got like two planets. And, and also, you want planets so you can get like the cosmic income, so definitely get some yeah. cap. Some planets. Having planets is really important because it lowers down all the costs that you can actually like. You don't the unnecessary costs. Yeah. yeah. It's a good investment that you can have in the beginning. It's a yeah. it's a long term investment. So. Yeah. What are the developers working on right now? And um, like, is there anything that we can talk about today or like? Is it all secret? Is it all super <sighs> secret or like? Do we have any special uh... previews that you can give? What I can say is we're gonna make a new way to have an event, like ground okay. events. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a very different way to you know have um, those small events like ground events. Mm -hmm. So that's a thing that I can talk about. Yeah. To be honest, um, I feel like uh, that would be a really good input for people to have. Ooh! Oh! oh. Combat master, spread fire! Spread fire with super good that distribution. Look. Celia? Yeah. This oh, is wow. like... This, this is end game. It's a little bit... Yeah. It's a, it's a little bit uh, sad that... Uh, not sad, but bad that the skill is boosted, but this is a uh, very good hero. This is end game. Higher, yeah. higher, higher. higher. Yeah. Uh, Wei Dong is saying, so the best offensive skill is random fire, then spread, then explosive. In general, random fire, I think, is the one... is the very best skill. Then spread, explosion, piercing fire. Like piercing mm. fire is very, especially end game piercing fire is a must. But like middle game, you don't really need piercing fire because people don't have that high resistance usually. Just one thing to add, um, yeah. like A and games are making also Astroness two. Whoa! Oh, so you're Wait, allowed what? to. Well, so you're allowed that? to talk about that? Yeah. Because is this actually, actually happening right now? About, we he have, wrote that down for me. Oh yeah, my! We've been known about this for a while, but yeah, yeah but we, we were not like allowed really to allowed to it. talk about it. Yeah. yeah. We've um, actually. Like, yeah. So now it's official? So this is official? We're, we're Wait, really? I hope yeah. not. <laughs> it's like, oh, on the paper. Yeah, like, it's on the paper. So, yeah, so I, like, it's not the one that I, like... Okay. Wow, so that's kind of like a huge bomb. So anyway. let's just let's just stop talking about it. Did you just asking, can we transfer our heroes? Yeah, yeah, heroes transfer to the Hyper Destroyer. No, 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 they're oh. talking about... Oh, wait. To oh, Astronus oh, Astronus 2. Dude, we have no idea. I, it's okay. like literally... It's so far down the like, is, pipeline. Yes. Yeah. It is. Um, it's going to be next, released like next year, right? Maybe next on. year. Yeah, so they're working on it. It's like a while away. And also, I think, did I just drop a bomb? I, I think, think so. Yeah, kinda. This is. Like, <laughs> this has been a secret. Like, your Dave told us not to say it, but really. Yeah. But okay. I mean, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sweating right now! Oh, no. oh yeah. I ho hope this is not another mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I wish not! Oh god. As in this 2, it's not gonna, it's gonna be different, it's gonna be like 3D maybe or something. I don't yeah, know. It is, it is like 3D. a 3D interface, like... Um, but it's gonna be, I don't know when we will reveal more information, but... Now you know that there's gonna be a asterisk too. So. It exists. Uh, okay, um, that is it for today. Um, thank you, Chris, for being our first guest. Uh, maybe there will be no more guests because <laughs> my Chris guess. broke the guest <laughs> system today. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> alright, guys. Nothing that's... happened here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing happened. <laughs> there's nothing to see. Yeah, just go about your day, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. As always, like, really, really, <laughs> really, really awesome, guys. We had a ton of fun. So, yep, see you next week. And my phone just died. Oh, right? perfect. Perfect timing. Okay, perfect timing. Jinx. Okay, guys, bye-bye.